What's up everyone? Andre here back with more Minecraft. I say more as if we do this regularly. This is the first time in I think a couple of years we've covered it because something big has happened. Two years ago or so I streamed Everbloom Games Amazing Recreation of Disney World in uh, Minecraft and now they're back again with another theme park based experience being Universal Studios, the Universal Studios experience. Um, I believe it's around $8 or so. Uh, you can grab it uh, for yourself right now from the Minecraft store or wherever they call it. So I'm going to hop in, check it out, because I am a huge theme park fan, as you probably know. I may have just said that, in fact. And uh, that includes Universal Studios. So I'm excited to see it, especially because they have recreated some classic attractions that don't even exist anymore at the U.S. parks, at least. Including uh, Back to the Future, King Kong. Well, I guess there is still a King Kong of sorts. I think it's a different one, though, than the one that's in this game. So let's hop in, check it out. I can't wait. And uh, good seeing everyone in the chat. I saw uh, Falcon Punch asks, does this have Super Nintendo World in it? I wish it did. I don't think it does. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Super Nintendo World free, but that would be amazing, wouldn't it? That'd be such a great fit, because they've already had the Minecraft Mario World. Why not include Super Nintendo World as part of the Universal Studios experience? Uh, I can't wait. I was I was thinking of recording this um, as a Game of Watch originally. I'm like, nah, it's way more fun if we have people watching live. I probably won't go for three and a half hours like I did last time, but uh, we'll see how much content is here. It sounds like it's pretty beefy, so all right. So right off the bat, we can... Uh, Look, I don't even know where we are right now. Some kind of like universal <laughs> foyer. <laughs> Let's see anything. Oh, here we got the credits here from uh, a lot of people involved in this experience, as you can see. Yeah, Everbloom Games, they they give it their all. We have classic posters here for uh, King Kong. Oh, the 2005 movie. We have Earthquake, Jaws, Shrek. Is Shrek here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see what's on the other side. Actually, real, real quick, look at the look at these posters. I love the uh, the the pixel art for them. These are fantastic. <laughs> these are really good, in fact. Oh man, it right, reminds me of we could do a Mario Paint back in the day, especially if you had the uh, Mario Paint manual where they had uh, like classic artwork recreated in Mario Paint style. Oh, the Mummy. I I didn't know what it was at first. I see it now. I completely see it. Jurassic World, so my mistake, not Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, perhaps. Back to the Future 2, amazing. And E.T., of course. That E.T. is a classic ride. Still exists at Universal Studios Orlando, not Hollywood, sadly. All right, can you guys hear? Actually, there's nothing happening right now, so you wouldn't be able to hear anything. Now you would. Let me know how the volume is, everyone. Here we go. Into the theme park. Guess who? Oh, this is Woody Woodpecker talking to us. You had the pleasure of being introduced to this blocky wonder. Oh man, this is going by fast. <laughs> All right, hopefully y'all can read it <laughs> because I can't keep up. You're gonna walk this way, huh? Huh. <laughs> Isn't this cool, Jordan? The scientist guy? You mean Doc Brown? Alright, I appreciate the self-awareness of how loopy he is. Uh, but the fact he's aware of how- self-aware of how, you know, insane Woody Woodpecker is, he himself is, doesn't suggest he is somewhat sane on some level? Is he really that far gone? Oh, there's an E.T. toy closet. <laughs> the big globe thing. That's cool. All right, we are in control. Can we, uh... <laughs> we can't beat up Woody Woodpecker. You see, friends, someone nabbed all the letters that normally spell out Universal for those visitors who somehow haven't figured out where they are yet. Okay. You know something? I heard that there is an extraterrestrial, you know, as E.T., you know, e looking for the Universal Studios globe letters. He probably wants to share what it looks like with his friends back home. I bet he'll show up if you help us fix it. Whispers, or whispering, he may even have a gift for you, too. All right. To get you started, I stumbled across this one while I was pecking into a hollow tree. Don't think I'd find one tucked away in there. You can also come on. <laughs> talking to Woody Woodpecker is talking to him. I forgot. You can also come chat with me anytime if you want some friendly advice. Otherwise, everyone uh, everyone, everyone here has been looking for those letters. So if you ask around, I bet someone will be able to point you in the right direction. Just try not to get lost in time or eaten while you're looking. Ha ha ha. He he. <laughs> All right. Cool. So we got our first letter. So there is a mission here for us. I think in the Disney World one, we were collecting, was it like song notes or something, if I remember correctly? 
Super 8 is a salad, no Super Nintendo World included. Okay, confirmed. Yeah, no Super Nintendo World as expected. So, alright, so wait, how many letters are we missing now? The universal part. Okay, so we have E... was universal? Is that eight letters? Seven? Something like that? So, alright. We may not find them all on this trip, but uh, let's head on back. Oh, is that Frankenstein? Or Frankenstein's monster? Very happy. That's character growth. Monster Cafe. Well, this is so freaking cool. Oh, we got Dracula. So they got the classic movie monsters here, which actually ties into Universal's upcoming third park, uh, Epic Universe opening soon. Third park in Orlando, I should say. So are we, I think we're in the New York section now. Or at the least a city section. What is that? Bar and Grill. Oh, Finnegan's Bar and Grill, all right. Isn't this where the Terminator 2 attraction was? So I wanna go find, let's go find some rides. I love storefronts, but uh, I really wanna get on an attraction. Oh, oh, and speak of the devil. There is, um, oh God, what's his name? Uh, Brendan Fraser's character, whoever he is. And that means the mummy is right here. And this is just like the, so I believe, now, I'll be honest, my knowledge of Universal isn't quite as in-depth as it is at, uh, of Disney. But I think this is based on the, uh, Orlando setting, primarily. I don't know if it's one-to-one, -one, but I do remember, um, this, uh, entryway. Facade, if you will, for the mummy ride. No fireworks on the set. Oh, they even have oh, oh, what the heck? Is this, like, an animation? They animated, oh, they animated the, the Q-Line video. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, this is specifically based on the Orlando version, where the whole idea is you're on, like, a a cursed set. Oh, this is freaking... This is really impressive. Can we just sit here and watch this entire time? You know, I, you know, I said earlier this, might, this won't be a three-and-a-half-hour stream. It might end up being a three-and-a-half-hour stream. All right, let's head on in. So here's the entrance. Oh, the music changed, too? Oh, we need to... Okay, and we, I... Just notice the captions, too, giving the story, the backstory. Hot set. No fireworks, as we saw. Extras remove all modern eyeglasses. This includes sunglasses for this for the scene. This is 1930s Egypt, people. That's right. I wonder if that sign's actually in the queue. I'm guessing it probably is. I know for the Disney version, they did insane amount of research, and I would not be surprised if they did the exact same for the universal recreation of the Minecraft here. This way to the tomb. This is so freaking cool. Look at, look at uh, like all the art that they added along the way. Oh, man. Trolley system in upper chamber. Okay. And look at the detail. I love this. Can we go up the stairs? Oh, yeah, we can. All right. Not, wasn't sure that was like a background detail or something. I don't remember the, was the actual Q2 stories? I don't remember. Oh, here we go. We're at the we're at the ride. Let me. Uh, yeah, well, I'm trying to interact. Is punching or attacking not interacting? <laughs> what? Let me. Uh, wait. Something's appearing there. Mine. I'm a little confused. This. Wait. Okay. So hold on. So. These, okay, these are how you board the... Okay. That's how you board the vehicle, I think. Uh... Am I, what am I doing wrong here, chat? Right-click is interact. Yeah, I'm, isn't this right-click? I'm using... I'm, I'm playing on Xbox. Just for the record. Is there something else I'm missing here? Whoa. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Sorry, it was left bumper. My mistake. There's our vehicle. Hey, what, nine-seater for one? Uh, Arcade, this is uh, $8 or so, I believe. I was sent a code for free from one of my friends who worked on the game, fortunately. Kyle's, or Kaya is playing it right now. Awesome. Yeah, no, the price. Get out of here! The curse! It's real! This whole place is a trap! It's after your souls! Look for the 
Magi symbol! It's your only home! Silence! With your souls, I shall rule for all eternity. This is amazing. They have voice samples and everything. Rejection effect from the ride. Oh boy. The scarabs. Oh, okay, yeah, let's get out of here. This is just like the actual ride to my memory. Happy. Yes, this is straight up like the actual ride. I love this. <laughs> Do you guys hear this okay, by the way? Is the volume good? Oh, we're the exit. We're done. Nope. False alarm. I love that. That's from the actual ride, too, of course. Fake ending. Now it's actually over. All right, that was that was cool. That was that is basically one to one to my memory. <laughs> Where's my god? Exactly. Even that ending was perfect. I don't remember the fake ending being that close to the real ending, but uh, I think it probably was. I trust I trust this ride. I trust the Minecraft version more than my memory. <laughs> I'm more surprised that it was that quick. Uh, that both endings are so quick or so close together. Is this a cast member door? I want I want through. All right, I guess not. We'll go into the gift shop. Fine. Exit into the gift shop. Okay, thanks, Aiden, for the uh, volume confirmation. Oh yeah, where should I be? I should be looking for letters too, shouldn't I? Can I just grab these letters for Universal? Ninth wonder of the world, the living mummy. All right, can I? Okay, I guess I can't talk to him. So, all right, that's fine. I don't want to talk to you anyway. Look at all the merchandise. Oh, we have some monster merchandise here. I actually kind of want, like, the blocky Minecraft merchandise version of this stuff. Alright, cool. Well, that's one ride down. Let's head on over to, uh... What's, oh, it's not all oh, that right day and night cycle, of course. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, so we have... Whoa, okay, yeah, we got a full map here, too. Oh, we gotta, we gotta go check out Shrek. Hold on, uh, chat, you can decide, actually. So, it looks like we have... We have is there a way to zoom in on this? Okay, I can do it that way, but... So we have E.T., Jurassic, Jurassic World, Back to the Future, which no longer exists, R.I.P. The stu wait, studio t wait, studio tour? So I don't... Is this like a combination of all the theme parks, I guess, maybe? We have Jaws. What else do we have? King Kong. Did I mention E.T.? We have E.T. All right, wait, what do we want? You want Jurassic World, Robert? Jonathan wants Shrek. Oh man, uh, someone wants E.T. I know, Twister. I remember Twister. That was a fun attraction. Alright, we have a couple votes for E.T. now. And Shrek, actually. Uh, the Redstone Scientist is a combination of all the parks, yeah. Oh, wait! Redstone Scientist! I remember you! You, uh, you're, you were one of the ones who worked on the game, right? 
you uh, over at Everbloom Games. That's awesome. Good seeing you here. And they actually said earlier something I missed. It feels longer in real life. Yeah. Or sorry, LOL. We timed the rides one to one so you can play the video of the ride alongside. It'll match pretty exactly. That's awesome. Like I said, I trusted you guys more than I trust my memory. So... All right, that's cool. So this isn't just a single Universal Park, it's a combination of all of them. Um, and uh, Jaws does still exist at the Japan Park, I believe. So, all right. I need to, need to re reacquaint myself with Minecraft controls. <laughs> all right. No Jimmy Fallon ride, though, huh? Redstone says they are the creative director. That's awesome. Good having you back. Thanks for hanging out on our stream again. I had such fond memories of playing the Disney World version. All right, so I think we had so the votes were between ET and Shrek. So let's do ET. Let's do ET first, I think. Let me bring that up the map again. Where where are we? We're yes, we are in the New York section. Okay, so we should be near ET. Somewhere. I will figure out this map one of these days. Does it actually show my real time? Oh, it does show my. Okay, we're we are heading toward ET. Okay. Yeah, this, the detail is always mind-blowing in these. Oh, that was Ky The redstone says, by the way, that was Kyle's voice in The Mummy. I didn't even pick up on that. I should have. I feel ashamed as Kyle's friend. I should have known. That's amazing. Oh, what's that over there? Let's see. I'm going to get better with this. Wait, am I going away now? Oh, I'm going away, I think. Is that... Wait, is that... Am I even reading this correctly? Oh, wait, I'm just an idiot. I thought that cursor represented where I was. Okay, well, we're going to just stumble along here. We'll find something. <laughs> there's no, uh, my, there's no Super Nintendo World in this Korra, apparently, so. Where are we going to end up at? This feels like we're ending up in, like, Shrek's area. Okay, no, that's Back to the Future. Okay. Let's bring on the map again. Where is Back to the Future on the map? Oh, we oh, how did we come this far? Oh, I got so disoriented. All right. Super Aiden says it's like Zelda, you get distracted by a lot of things, lol. That totally seems to be the case. Yeah, unfortunately, my, uh, my, my uh, intuitive sense of navigation is not as good for Universal as it is at <laughs> Disney. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, there's a clock tower, right? So we may be, we may be in the back. Oh, and there's Marty. Look at that. So we'll be, we'll be back to the Back to the Future ride soon. <laughs> we'll be back to the Back to the Future ride. We're going back! You know what? We actually may just do this now. We're here. <laughs> Alright. I lied. We're gonna do it right now. Hey, Doc Brown. Einstein, yes. Love the cute wave. Alright, let's go in. So this is, of course, now the Simpsons ride at... At least the two, uh, U.S. parks. So I'm glad it's Back to the Future here. I also wonder if it's partially a rights issue with Simpsons now being owned by Disney, even though Universal has a theme, the theme park ride still. Very weird, the whole, how the whole thing. Redstone Scientist says they have their own animations. Oh, interact with the characters. Okay, my bad. How dare I? <laughs> I'm so, thank you for pointing that out. We're going back. Now my Back to the Future joke makes a little bit more sense. All right, we got to see the unique animations. Oh, God. I'm lost. <laughs> what have I done? Okay, here we go. I should follow, just follow the arrows in reverse. Okay. Let's see. Okay, left trigger. There we go. Oh my god, he's got a mini DeLorean. That is great. Okay, alright. Let's check. Oh, Einstein, you're getting, you're getting around. Oh, yes! I love that. Oh, the, he even has the uh, the watch necklace or um, uh, collar, rather. Can we interact with the DeLorean? I didn't even see this before. This is amazing. I was looking for the hour time. You can see where it would be, but <laughs> the definition's not high enough in Minecraft. 
All right, hold on. We gotta go. Where was Marty? We'll track down Marty after the ride. Do you have an animation? No. All right. Thank you for pointing that out, Redstone. Oh, and they continue. Uh, let's see. Funny strength of watch reflects of Minecraft time. Also check the pause menu. Okay, that makes sense. And with the pause menu, do I have to be anywhere in particular? Is that the pause menu? Do you mean the... Okay, these are not... Okay, that's not what... I don't think... I don't think that's what they meant. Oh, is the DeLorean still there in real life? Rift? I didn't realize that. Oh! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, I didn't even... <laughs> It tracks how many times you pet the dog. Oh, that's great. So am I at? Am I? Is that? Am I? Do I have one or five? I'm a little confused about. I think I'm at five, right? Is that what that means? That is great. Is that the only thing it tracks? That would be even better. The only thing that matters is how many times you pet the dog. Okay, I'm at five pets. All right, awesome. That is amazing. That's the best detail. Forget everything else, we just need to pet the dog tracker. That's the only thing it tracks. <laughs> that just is the redstone scientist who was the, uh, uh, one of the designers on the game. That is amazing. Lil, or Lil says they thought there'd be flying cars by now. I know, Back to the Future 2 lied to us, right? We all thought we'd have flying cars now, and... Before I send you on your journey through time, I have a few things to show you. Here. Oh, at this the is Institute all new. for Future Technology, my crowning achievement, the new experimental eight-passenger time travel vehicle. It's this baby that will send you across the space-time continuum one day into the future. Zombie says, "Please eat some food." It's driving me nuts. Oh, am I? Am I? Oh, I am brain low. Okay, we'll try. We'll grab food I after need. this. <laughs> What's that, Heidi? You see some? <gasps> Great Scott, it seems we have an intruder alert. Oh boy. All sectors report in immediately. Quadrant one, check in. Quadrant one, locked and secured, Doc. Level two, check in. Level two, locked and secured, Doc. Section three, check in. Section three, locked and secured, Doc. Zone four, check in. Zone four, do you copy? <laughs> I'm a butthead! Jump and jiggerbox! It's Biff! I'm sorry, folks. We've got problems! There's only one troublemaker who can throw a monkey wrench in the works like this! Biff Tannen! Oh, Juvenile delinquent! He's over here. Graduated Hill Valley High School, class of 1955. 1955? There's something very strange going on around here. At any rate, stay alert. If Tannen gets his hands on some of the equipment around here at the Institute, it could mean the end of the very universe as we know it. That's not anyway, good. Enjoy the rest of your visit. <laughs> I love that transition. We are currently experiencing minor security difficulties. We apologize for the inconvenience. Now, if my assumption is correct, Biff must have entered the complex diabolically disguised as one of you. Not them. It's only a matter of time before we catch that juvenile delinquent, so don't worry. I need. Watch the monitors. Chow time. Chow time. Chow time. Wow. Chow time. So. Chow time. What the? Chow hell? Oh. Hello, anybody home? Huh? What are that you looking at, butthead? Maybe it was. Wait a second. You're the sucker's Doc Brown conned into his time travel experiment. You know, some of Doc Brown's guinea pigs never make it back. <laughs> I'm not saying you shouldn't volunteer. I just hope the doc's making it worth your while. <laughs> Come to think of it, maybe I can make it worth your while. That is, if you help me find Doc Brown's time machine. What's the matter, chicken? There's no way Doc Brown's gonna stop me now. Excuse me. I gotta finish my repair work. <laughs> this is so crazy Even in depth. Even though we have a little security problem on our hands, we must prepare you for temporal displacement. That's time travel to you. Perhaps this demonstration will suffice. 
Oh, they actually have a model table, like in the movie? Figuring out the space-time continuum I love that. is tricky business. Believe me, I know. And that's why I developed this. My ultimate scientific achievement. The new eight-passenger time vehicle. It's faster, more energy efficient. It's more of a van at that point, isn't it? <laughs> it's a convertible. I figure if you know what the weather is going to be like in the future, why not just time travel to the sunny days? That's a good point. But it's only for those who take time travel very seriously. And that means you. But remember, this is all top secret. With Talon on the loose, we can't afford to take any chances. I assure you this is hardly business as usual here at the Institute. A mere fluke. Our security system is virtually impenetrable. It'll take a lot more than a hoverboarding hood to pull the plug on this operation. Darn, Biff. darn, darn. Wow, that was really, uh, really exhaustive and detailed. Um, yeah, Aiden asked earlier, is this, is this what actually happened in the ride? To my memory, this is pretty much all new. I think there was like a Q video, but it wasn't nearly that in depth. I'm sure, um, Resto Scientist can, uh, better remind me of anything like this happened. But I think it was all like on, on TVs before. This is like all new to this, all largely new to this. Like there wasn't like any actors recreating it or anything. So that is insane. That was really cool. All right, here we go. The actual boarding now, area. Now, please stand by for an important message from the Institute's Chief Inventive Officer, Dr. Emmett Brown. Now that you're here, time travel volunteers, I can give you your pre-flight briefing. This There's is the Q, this actually is the Q video, so it's based on the Q video. Do they have like the real life actors, I think. Continue. Yeah, it's usually a screen. Well, hurry, though, Apparently it was 40 minutes loose. before, Anything they reduced it to 20 happen. minutes. Crazy. Hello? Hello, Dr. Brown! <laughs> yeah, Rift also Rift, says it naturally This get is so here? cool, I love how they recreated it in these 3D. Bozos. Doc, one of our time travel teams was conducting an experiment back in 1955. He must have stowed away! Hey, I'm not one to pass up a free ride. Tannen! You should be here in the present! We've got to get you back to 1955, or we could create a major paradox! Oh, don't worry, Doc. I'll go back. And in style. But first, I'm gonna take a little joy ride. No! Biff! Love Never trust the best. Doc. I just ain't got the time. What am I saying? I got all the time I want! Ha! <laughs> Unlock these gates, Talon! Hasta la bye-bye! <laughs> There he goes. Well, we better go catch him, right? He's got the time travel vehicle. This is terrible. He's going to alter time. History as we know it will be completely obliterated if he's not stuck with us. Wait a second. Ah, why didn't I think of this before? My newest invention, the eight passenger time vehicle. That's it. I'll just hop in it. Great Scott, what am I thinking? I'm trapped like I'm right in my own office. There's no way I can get into that time machine. Hold on a minute. I can get to it. What? I time travel volunteers. You, and you, and you. You're my only hope. The eight passenger time vehicle is just in that door where you're standing. I can pilot from my remote control from here, but I'm going to need you to help me navigate. You've got to catch Biff. The fate of the entire universe rests in your hands. I almost forgot. In order to successfully bring Biff back to our time period, it is necessary to accelerate up to 88 miles per hour and bump him. That's right, bump him. Yeah, like the bumper cars. Two traveling time vehicles will create a time vortex, sucking both vehicles and time travelers back to their original point of departure. There's no telling where or when Biff may be leaving us, so be prepared for anything. Good luck, time travelers. All right, here we go. There is the DeLorean. The eight-seater DeLorean convertible version. Oh, he even has a ride time here. Five minutes. This is such a crazy in-depth attraction. My God. And yeah, it matches up to what I remember. And yeah, I remember um, they had the original the original actual cast here, but not like acting it out in full 3D like we have here. It's all on screen. So that's that's a really neat uh, upgrade they added to the virtual version of the attraction. All right, let's get up. Let's hop aboard. Let's stop wasting time. If I can figure out the button. <laughs> 
Uh, do I just... How do I get in here? Well, if it starts without me, that'd be embarrassing. Get here in. we go. <laughs> Watch yourself. Hurry up. Here we go. Hurry I up. love this ride, the kid. Don't worry about a thing. You're in good hands. Rest Oops. of us, make sure to get a good seat. I still haven't worked all the bugs out of this thing. But no matter, we're a mission of universal proportions. Doc, Biff has passed through the space-time continuum, but we've got no way of knowing where he is. You mean when he is. And we do have a way of knowing when he is. The eight-passenger time vehicle is equipped with a sub-ether time tracking scanner, which will allow us to track Biff to his precise location at the precise moment in whatever time period he may have traveled to. Doc, all pre-launch system checks are complete. That's our cue. Hang on to your hats. Good thing I got my hat on. He knew! Doc Brown knew! Don't forget, when you see Biff in the time vehicle, accelerate to 88 miles per hour and bump it! Here we go! Accelerate now to 55 miles per hour! 65, 75, 85, 88 miles per hour! That's a neat. I love this. Bill Belly in the year 2015! Oh, this is so and cool. Biff. Let's get him! Oh, oh the crap! Okay, time travel! <laughs> now don't tell! This this really takes me back, which is appropriate. We've got to go. Okay, let's stop. Great, stop. Oh no. <laughs> Are you gonna take that, Doc Brown? Uh -huh. Watch for traffic, Doc. <laughs> like, even the speedometer is reflecting how fast we're going. Come on, Doc. Help me. Faster. Oh, good. <laughs> hey, we saw the outside. Biff got away. I love going through the clock Looks tower like to go we're back in the time. Years back in time, and that's Hill Valley Valores in the Ice Age. We're in Jurassic Park. Back again. Pull up! Pull up! Oh! Kaboom! <laughs> you bad <laughs> Watch out for snow! Give it up, Titan! Before this crevasse starts! Oh my! Woo! Let's go! Oh, oh, is it scaring you? Oh. Oh. See you later! Take care! Blast! The engine's dead! Oh, everybody lean back! Oh. <laughs> no, lean back! Wait, 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 wait! Oh, no! Hold on! Look that goes. Come on, baby! Start! Yahoo! We're going backwards! At 88 miles per hour. Perfect. Hang in there, volunteers! Beep, beep! Head toward that volcano! Come on, forehead! <laughs> and you guys don't know when to give up, do you? Prepare yourselves, people! I suspect that the primeval hill valley that we're about to enter could be a pretty rough place. Hello? Anybody home? Big Scott! Huh? A dinosaur! Oh! It's a Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex! Look out! Right this way, Gramps. Come on! Come on, Gramps! Right this way! Now sick him! <laughs> Big Scott! Look out! Calm down, big fella. Calm down. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Hey, 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 I'm hit. I'm hit. I know, Biff. What in blazes? What's those jaws? Stay back ah, there, buddy. Look out! Oh, no! <laughs> We've been swallowed! Hang on! Screw Biff! <laughs> Whatever! Uh, you're lucky Doc Brown's a good person. The impact between the two vehicles should send us straight back to the Institute! Thanks, Doc Brown! 
You saved my life! Butthead! Get your meat hooks off of me! You did it! Not only did you catch Piff and save the universe, but you proved that my latest invention is a success! Go forth, time travelers, and remember, the future is what you make it! It is crazy how accurate that was. Like, that ride is exactly as I remembered it. I mean, it's actually, in some ways, better. Because you have, like, the full 3D effect. Whereas the original ride is, of course, on the screen. Uh, so you actually can, like, you know, look around and see the depth of everything. That's so freaking cool. Uh, Silver says, um, dude, this DLC is amazing. And I fully agree. This is so... This, I think, is an, even an improvement over the Disney World one, which is already amazing. So... And the Redstone Scientist says, if you see a detail, it's because it matches the real thing. Yes, they worked on it, and uh, everything, to my memory, that I can remember, because this ride's, you know, quite old now, but it doesn't even exist anymore. Uh, perfect recreation, if not better in some ways, as I said. Alright, that was awesome, alright. Well, now let's see if we can make our way to, uh, I think E.T. and Shrek were what people wanted to see next. So let's try to mosey our way to one of those two, I can figure out how, how to read maps. <laughs> All right, so we're at the top end right now. So we basically want to head straight, and we'll run into either E.T. E or Shrek. We'll be flanked by them, so... I also need to get some food. All right, hold on. we got to pet the dog again, though. And that should mean... Yep, we're up to six now! <laughs> and the clock apparently matches the in-game time as well on this collar. That's so cool. I love it. So yeah, one thirty-four in the morning. The Redstone Scientist says, and believe me, Universal made sure we got everything right that we could. <laughs> I believe it. Universal has really stepped up their game, especially, you know, in terms of, like, uh, detail and being fully immersive. So it does not surprise me that they made sure everything was right in this. Oh, all right. This is this is so impressive. I, you guys should be proud of what you've, of what you've built here. I know you are, but... Yes, I need food! All right, how do I... Do they have, is the, uh, is Doc Brown's Chicken Shack here? It used to be at Universal Studios Hollywood at the least. Um, I never made the connection of Doc Brown and Chicken until I remembered the chicken insult from, uh, from Biff. Oh, hey, this looks like a food stand. Can you hook me up? Oh, no, it's an information stand. Information, where can I get food? <laughs> Yeah, and as Redstone Scientist is saying in the uh, chat, this is basically a combination of all their theme parks. So it's not specifically based on any one in particular. Such as how, you know, Back to the Future still exists in this version. Wait, is that... What is, what's going on over there? Wait, there's also food, I think. Right? There probably should be food around here. Oh, we're back at the globe. Okay. Well, that'll help us. I think. But wouldn't that put us at the entrance? Uh, Redstone says, by the way, the letters are all from minigames except for two. Oh, okay. And are the minigames independent from the rides? I probably won't be finding all the letters in that case, sadly. On this stream, at least. Wait, the bathrooms are functional? Oh, well, now I gotta find a bathroom! According to Hundo, uh, each ride has its own mini game. Oh my God! All right, we have we have more to explore then. This looks like a bathroom. Okay, no, <laughs> it's just an entrance way. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know where I am right now. So you could see in the Back to the Future line, if you went to the left, you could have done a, ho oh, a hoverboard race? All right, we... Okay, now I know where we are. Okay. We might need to go back to Back to the Future. All right, so we're at the... Okay, we're at the tour, which means we just... Do we pass by, like, Earthquake 2, then? Oh, whoa. Oh, what? We can do that? We can teleport around? Oh, well, that makes things easier. There we go. Okay, well, this solves a problem. All right. So now we're near e There's E.T. Okay, good. Now I want food. Let's get food. And then we'll go back to E.T. 
And I want to check out the hoverboard thing, too. I want to do everything! There's so much to do. All right, where's, where's food at? Here we go. You're going to have food for me, right? At the Monster Cafe? Let's see your animation. Oh. Oh, a little flower? Well, thank you, Fra Frankenstein. It's so kind of you. God, the detail is immaculate. Here we go. All right. We're finally feeding ourselves the most expensive part of any theme park trip. Okay, this. Okay, can I just grab it? Also, chicken legs. Yeah, we're gonna stock up on that. There we go. Do I. Did I actually grab that? Now, how do I eat it? Sorry, it's been a long time since I played Minecraft. <laughs> I want to eat. You're just mocking me, food. <laughs> All right, we may just have to look at the food. I don't know how to actually eat this. Put the food in the hot in the hot bar. What? I don't know what that means. This. Can we, like, make something? Can we craft these two and do something else? Will we just cook a bunch of chicken legs together? Okay. How do we, how do we actually do this? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> To eat, put the food in the bottom row of your screen. You can select and hold the trigger to eat. Thank you, Redstone Scientist. Wait, this this one? Then you can hold trigger to eat. Am I doing this right? I don't think I am. Oh, I see. Okay, I right, got it. Okay, I got it now. There we go. Thank you. All right. Now let's go to, ooh, let's interact with uh, Dracula. Look at this plight gentleman. Oh, he turns into a bat, of course. I should've seen that coming. All right, now where was E.T.? E.T. was not far, so I should hopefully not get lost. Though I suspect I already am. Wait, did I did I do Frankenstein? Did did it do we not I thought we saw his flower. Wait, did he have something else? Does it keep going? Okay, yeah, we saw this one. Look behind the door to the cafe. Oh, you mean wait. Oh, oh! We got the yes! All right, awesome. So we can add that to the, the to the universal sign, which is actually right there. Let's see. Oh, perfect! Hey, we did something! Thank you, Resto Scientist. All right, cool. So if you're just joining us, by the way, we're playing the Universal Studios Experience DLC made by Everbloom Games. They previously created, and they created a bunch of amazing Minecraft, uh, Minecraft recreations, including a Disney World one we streamed a couple of years ago. We have some of the staff in the chat right now, including Redstone Scientist, who's helping me out, providing us all kinds of neat details, too. Oh, it's all good, Redstone Scientist. I was just, uh, I didn't want, I mean, you probably, you made, you almost rightfully made the right call that I probably missed something. <laughs> Alright, like, where in the hell is the CT attraction? I know it's feet away from where, from where I'm at. There it is, I think. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we found E.T. Yeah, E.T., a classic. No longer at Universal Studios Hollywood, but still at Orlando. Let's head on in. Oh, neat. The Almac opening doors. This ride had such a cool queue in real life. I'm excited to see how they recreated it here. Is Spielberg gonna show up? I think he showed up in the... 
in the Q video, which is going to be this. Hello, I'm Steve yes, Spielberg. Yes, there he is. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to the E.T. adventure. But I'm afraid we don't have much time, so I'm going to cut right to the chase. Is that actually e. Spielberg? Needs your help. Now, we've just received an urgent message from E.T.'s teacher, Botanicus. It sounds close. Calling for E.T. to come home right away. You see, a big problem has developed three million light years away on E.T.'s home world, the Green Planet. E.T.'s friends are in danger because their planet is dying. Remember what E.T.'s friends look like because it's going to be up to you to help E.T. find them once we get him home. And there's not a moment to lose because only E.T. That's awesome. E. T. Uh, Spielberg can confirms that's his actual voice. His planet back to hell. E.T. must go home. And only you can help him. Ah, E.T. That's right, E.T. So why don't you show these people how we're going to get you back to the green planet? You and E.T. will be making your three million light year journey on these bikes. It's a long journey. We're going to be very tired <laughs> on these bikes. But you will need Could you imagine? a planetary passport. So before you leave with E.T., tell your first name to one of our assistants, and they'll give you your pass. Sounds like E.T.'s ready to go. So good luck, everyone. And remember, E.T.'s counting on you, and so am I. Oh. It's up to you to save his planet so that he may visit us again. I just realized something. Are they going to ask our name on this? We'll find out. We'll find out. No spoilers. Redstone Scientist says, yep, we had to ask Spielberg for permission, and he loved the project. That's so freaking cool. I know Spielberg, I'm mean, obviously close, you know, attached to E.T., uh, and Universal Studios, and especially the ride. I know he's got like a. There's, you know, I don't know if the rumors are true or not, but the rumor is that they basically can't remove ET from Universal Studios Orlando because, like, of the attachment to uh, Spielberg, which I am happy for because whether or not that's true, ET is a classic. It's like basically Universal's Peter Pan. So that's so cool that Spielberg allowed his voice to be used. And is that the original line? I assume those are the original lines from the ride, right? He didn't re record it or anything. Oh, Redstone says, same for Bob Gale with Back to the Future. Had to review and approve cuts of our scripts. Oh, that's oh, that's so cool. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, I don't think... Oh, wait, here's my passport. Do I need to show it to him? All right, I think he's just gonna... It's the honor system. All right, not he's not asking for my name. <laughs> okay, let's continue on. Oops. Without the map. Oh yes, the the forest and the alien. This was such a cool effect, or the way it just it felt so immersive in real life. Like it actually feels. I mean, in here too. Like it really feels like you're outside, which is great. All right, let's continue onward. I think he. I think he talked. I could be mistaken. I think he talked in real life, but I guess he doesn't here. Oh, hold on. Redstone Scientist says Kyle would want to make sure you listen to all the sounds here. Okay, let's make sure we pay attention. Also, what's... Let me go back real quick. I don't think I've ever noticed these guys in real life. I'm picking up stuff in this game that I never saw in real life. Probably gonna hear things I didn't even hear in the ride too. Yeah, I love the ambiance of everything. It's so good. Kyle did great. Uh, Reston says, uh, a Botanicus, I guess that's the alien, used to talk, I believe, but over the years as it get as it got deteriorated, they retired the sequence. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So this is almost too faithful. <laughs> too accurate of a recreation. All right. Awesome. Let's hop on the ride. Here comes our bike. Our bicycle. We want a front seat. Oh, so wait. Does where I stand actually... Cor I didn't even make that connection. Where I stand is where I stand. Does that dictate how I load? That's so cool. Oh, it does. Rest on confirms. That's really neat. Great detail. A 
I love the movement of the bike, just like the actual ride. Shot at? <laughs> Let's get out of here! Oh, this part's amazing. Look at this! I love the sense of scale. They did such a great job. They did such an amazing job recreating this feeling. This is it kind of like the uh, the Peter Pan moment when they're over? Oh, the moon! I almost missed it. I'm glad I caught the tail end of that. The shadow. Oh, now here, we're, this is where it gets weird. <laughs> we end up on E.T.'s home planet. Which I think is... What's her name? Jenna Nicholas, the YouTuber. I think this is her favorite ride. and She loves this part. She's a theme park YouTuber. I love that. That's right, we're back. Or visiting, I guess. E.T. is back. We're the aliens here. Yeah, some of these creature designs are just as freaky in Minecraft as they are in real life. <laughs> Doing great, Vaughn. Thanks for asking. Redstone Scientist says, Welcome home, you've arrived. That's right. What is that thing? Oh, I don't want to get too close to any of these creatures. They're all vaguely terrifying. Like, this is so cool. Like, this is something you never saw in the movie. You know, like, we're seeing the ride actually extended the movie. It's such a neat idea. Oh my god! They included the name! I oh my god, they got it. I love that. They included the name. That is amazing. At the end of the ride, E.T. would say your name. So I thought they'd make me type it in, but they didn't need to here. I love that. I'm impressed. I'm so impressed, yep. I'm so glad that wasn't spoiled. All right, I'm thoroughly blown away. Hey, WD, or yeah, WD Central, how's it going? Another theme park fan, obviously. All right, amazing job once again. I keep saying that I can't say it enough. That that I mean, that is a ride that I have a pretty good memory of. I'm mean, not perfect, and that was pitch perfect. That was they nailed it. That was so freaking good, and I'm sure that's the case for every ride here. So, all right, so where's the um, mini game? Is there an ET mini game here? Then you said. I don't want to miss it this time. I like the right exit sign too. All right, look at look at the little merchandise, the little ETs. All right. <laughs> okay, ETs a one ride without mini game apparently. Of course. WDW WD says uh, I'm doing great because they included Jaws on the thing, right? Heck yeah, Jaws. I'm excited to go check out that attraction. So, all right. There's so many, there's so much to do here. It's crazy. All right, I promised Shrek. So let's head our, let's make our way to Shrek. I guess we just use a map now that we know how to teleport around on this thing. Let's see. Can I, uh, is it the only, is it only the blue spots I can teleport to? Okay, I said I knew how to teleport, but. That was a that was a lie. There we go. Okay, then I think we go left here. Oh, 
Oh, there is, there's a man himself. Shrek. Oh. Of course, he has to scratch his butt. And, oh, toilet paper. Love that detail. Look at the face. The DreamWorks face. And here's Donkey. Okay, so... Hold on. Oh, uh, he's doing his uh, Noble Steed animation, I think. Love it. Okay, so apparently... It looks like Shrek is under construction, I believe. Which I think it is in real life, too. So, that is incredibly detailed. So, I, I, it, I'm guessing there's not actually a Shrek attraction yet. Hey, put some boots. Pardon our dust. So, this is... Is this actually... Is this gonna be added? Or is this just how it's going to be forever? That's why I'm curious. So this is cool. So we got like a sneak peek of, I think they're building Shrek Swamp at Universal Studios Orlando. So I think this is kind of like a sneak peek of it. There will be a Shrek update. Heck yeah. So we're going to have to stream this again in the future, everyone. So we can get a little sneak peek of uh, what they're building here. Oh, wait. Is there an actual, was there an actual Puss in Boots character I passed by? Of course. I like how, you know, I do analysis for a living and I, whenever I do these like live Versions, I always miss something essential. Oh, uh, closer to the globe. Okay, let's, uh... <laughs> we say that as if I know where that is. <laughs> let's, um... Let, let, we, gotta go, we gotta go find Puss in Boots. Alright, actually, I think it might be better going back the other way. So I think this is leading me away from everything. Uh, WDW Central says they are building a new DreamWorks land, replacing Kids Zone. It will include the swamp and the outhouse. Right. Yeah, I remember that area was theorized for a while to go to some Nintendo property, but that obviously, I think Super Nintendo World originally, but that and didn't end up happening as is, with that being moved to um, Epic Universe. Oh, is that, is that Puss in Boots ahead of me? Oh, he's a tiny little guy! Oh, he just, oh! I love it. His little sword, his little boots. Oh! That, oh my god, adorable. Look at that. That's amazing. All right, love it. Okay, cool. So that's so we can get a little sneak peek of the Shrek area. You can see the. Cr I thought that was a crane from a distance. I assume, actually, yeah, you can see multiple cranes. So that's awesome. How just like in real life, they're building a Shrek area or DreamWorks area. We're seeing a little taste of that here, and that will be coming in the future. So, all right, awesome. Now, let's see. Redstone says, "I fully don't. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna put there yet." We said we wouldn't come in until we saw how successful this one was. Uh -huh. That makes sense. Yeah, better to hedge your bets. Hopefully, I hope this is a huge success for you guys. Because I am already... The Disney... I, I mean, I, I assume the Disney World one was a huge success. And that was an amazing recreation. This seems to be possibly even better than that. Especially with how you were able to really bring in more of the soundscape too, it seems like. Of the rides. Okay. Chat, I'm going to leave up to you to decide where we go next. So we have, uh, so we've done Shrek, we've done E.T., we've done The Mummy, we've done Back to the Future. Actually, hold on. While we, while we decide what we do next, I gotta go back to Back to the Future to check out that attraction. But we also have King Kong at Skull Island, Jurassic World, uh, the Studio Tour, I believe, and Jaws. There's probably more I'm missing, but... So chat, let me know what you want to see. For now, though, we're gonna go, we're gonna try and get back to Back to the Future. So I can, um, do that minigame there. Uh, I think Jurassic okay, Jurassic World's winning right now. WDW wants Jaws, though. I see a King Kong vote. Redstone Scientist says Jurassic World has both the ride and the Innovation Center with a minigame. Ooh, all right. Okay, Jurassic World's winning by a landslide. Okay, so we're going to do Jurassic World next, everyone. Once I uh, find this uh, Back to the Future minigame. Roy's Records. So are we on this? So we're on the back lot right now, right? But I believe this would be a Hollywood version, or this would be the Hollywood-inspired part. Also the Backlot Tour in general. Yeah, we'll do Jurassic World soon, everyone. Okay, you said it was to the left. Is this... Okay, that's the exit. I'm gonna need your help here, Red Redstone Scientist. <laughs> is it inside to the left, or is it to the left, like, over here? Go. Okay, go into the queue. Alright, thank you. What would I do without you, Redstone? I'm so glad you're here. For those who don't know, Redstone uh, I was the, I believe, the, the creative designer on this. So it's awesome that they're in the chat right now, just as they were two years ago for the Disney World one. Oh, 
I, I literally looked at this earlier and I ignored it. Okay. Just like a real life tourist, right? So this takes us to Doc's lab, I believe it said. Wait, the rest of this is take your time and sneak. Hold. Sh oh, I'm playing. On, I'm playing Xbox. Uh, what is the Xbox version? Let's see, how do I? How do? Okay, is this is this sneaking, crouching? I'm guessing. Oh, it's not here. In between. Oh, this this. Oh, this is. This is sneaky. Okay. All right. So you're saying I should sneak around? Oh, you're talking to Snowy. Okay. My bad. Okay, hoverboard race. So this is not from... This is all new, I believe, to Minecraft. Listen carefully. In the future, there was a bully named Griff who saw Doc and Marty travel through time. He got his hands on the sports almanac and managed to send it back to his grandfather, Biff. Now, Biff's rich from betting on sports games. He's wrecked much of America with his money and the timeline itself is in jeopardy. This Biff guy needs to get it under control. Good God. We've got to go with Doc in the spare time machine to get the almanac back before Griff can. I'll give you something cool from Doc's collection if you do. Sure. Excellent. Now into the time travel machine. Doc's waiting and there's work to do. Alright. Am, am I doing this right? Is this... It, I'm not on the right. Okay, no. Hoverboard race will begin shortly. Okay, good. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I'm excited. There he is. Nice try, punk. Great, Scott. If you want it, you have to race me for it, unless you're chicken like McFly. Haha. -ha. I'm jumping and gaining speed. Okay. All right, here we go. So, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, how do I jump? Oh, that's that's. Oh my god. I'm pulling like a <laughs> Oh, no, okay, I think that might be. Oh, what? Wait, B? Okay, oh, I can dismount. Wait, this is oh, I can go to third person? Oh, yeah! Oh, heck yeah, there we go. Oh, I think that's... Okay, I think... So, oh, I can do like these little boosts. This reminds me a little bit of a Kirby Air Ride, actually. I'm so far behind. Okay, there he is. I see Biff. Get back here, Biff. Whoa! <laughs> I think that's gonna win. Not gonna lie. I don't have faith in myself. Yeah, you lost. Alright, let's try that one more time. Okay, now that I have a little bit of a better handle of what I'm doing here. <laughs> As I crash into a store. <laughs> Like the boosting's actually helping me at all. Oh, he's actually pretty hard as a redstone scientist. You need to constantly boost and take shortcuts. If you fall three times, it gets easier. Oh, or if I fail three times, it gets easier. Well, we might see that. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of failing. All right, here's some shortcuts. Oh, but I can't go across the water. <laughs> of course. Of, of course. That's, oh, okay, that's accurate. I appreciate that they make it easier after three attempts. We're definitely gonna see that. So am I boosting correctly? Am I doing this right? Is it actually worth doing? I like how that guy just waits for me. This guy's falling. He's like, this guy's falling so far behind. Okay, I'm doing it correctly. So after this attempt, if we fail again, it sounds like it should get a little easier for us. Oh, 
Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool, by the way. I love that they actually built in gameplay into this experience. I don't remember the Disney World version had anything like this. This is a tough minigame. You weren't kidding, Redstone Scientist. The water! My weakness! I'm like a Pokemon, a fire Pokemon. I'm on last. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> I stand corrected. I'll give it one more attempt. This should be easier now, I think. Oh god. <laughs> I'm not I'm not convinced. Is it actually easier? I'm not so sure. It looks like you have to time the boost just perfectly too, so you don't um, go too you don't go over the meter, otherwise it starts regressing. Is this easier, Redstone? I don't know if it is! I'm probably missing some very obvious shortcuts, too. Oh, that's... <laughs> running into a bush is not a shortcut. <laughs> Redstone says, no, really, it's just hard. It is! This might be the hardest game <laughs> I've played in recent memory. So there's, hey, there's replay value here. Hey, oh, I won't beat this guy at least. Let's get one more lap to go. Oh, never mind. We couldn't even beat him. All right. Well, that was uh, that was a fun um, diversion. How do we get out? Right now? Let's see, how do I actually? If I save and quit, that takes me out of here entirely. Oh, the return button in the start line. Okay. Ah, I see. Thank you. What would I do without you, Redstone Scientist? All right, awesome. All right, let's head on to Jurassic World. That's what the chat wanted to see. Chat wants to see Jurassic World. Trying to like go out of bounds here. That's so cool. And apparently every attraction except for um ET has a minigame like that, so. Alright, let's bring the map up. So we should be a Jurassic World. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it's pretty far away. Okay, so we're gonna actually teleport over there. Yeah, no Super Nintendo World Gorilla, dude. So if you're just joining us, everyone, we are playing the Universal Studios Experience DLC made by uh, Everbloom Games. We actually have uh, at least one of the creators in the chat right now helping give us the inside information on it. Super cool. This is an amazing recreation of uh, a variety of Universal Studios attractions from around the world, including some extinct attractions, which doesn't include Jurassic World, but they are an extinct creature, of course, so... Uh, and this, oh, right here, so this, oh my, wait, this, I'm, this specifically seems to be based on Universal Studios Hollywood, I think. Um, maybe not that part. <laughs> but, like, this is the escalator, right, that takes you into the lower lot, right into the Jurassic World. You got the, uh, the ride building on the left. This is so freaking cool. I love this. Oh, we're going the wrong way. I know this. I should know! <laughs> yeah, this is straight up the Hollywood version. Which actually makes sense, because Jurassic World is only in Hollywood. There's still Jurassic Park at Orlando, so... Redstone Scientists of the Innovation Center is also next door. Okay, awesome. We will definitely check that out after the ride, if I hopefully remember.
Oh, this queue is straight up. Yeah, this is identical. So, this is actually gonna be spoilers for me. I've actually been avoiding looking at because they rethemed Jurassic Park in Hollywood to Jurassic World. I've been I've been avoiding spoilers until I went on it. So, <laughs> I guess they caught up with me. I can't avoid them any longer. So we're gonna go. We're gonna front row again. Let's go front row middle. Here we go. I love this. And yeah, these these rides are effectively one to one with the real thing, which is such a an amazing detail. And I know this ride from the Jurassic Park version, like the back of my hand. Uh, SPR Ridley says, but mostly Hollywood mixed with the movie and the Innovation Center from Orlando, but themed to Jurassic World instead of Jurassic Park. Oh, uh, yeah, they said earlier to mix. That makes sense. You worked on the ride, too, or you worked on this um, a tr uh, game, too, right? SPR Ridley? Does that need to sound familiar? I probably missed some of your other comments. I'm sorry if that's the case. Isn't it amazing, Sea Stove? Oh, here, of course, you gotta take in the gates opening. Yeah, okay, they confirmed they did work on it. Oh, you mixed it with Universal Studios Beijing. Oh, their Jurassic Park ride's amazing. Oh, look at this. See, Brandon says, hang on, I know. I feel like something's gonna happen soon. That's a tranquil. Nothing's gone awry quite yet. SPR really says that we put something in every Universal Park from around the world. That's amazing, I love that. Also, welcome back. Thanks for hanging out on our stream to uh, both of you so far and anyone else from your from the team. Awesome having you guys back. Okay, I remember this guy from Jurassic Park. I remember these guys from Jurassic Park. The original version of the ride. I think. so cool. It being night right now feels perfect as well. It's really gonna make the animatronics stand out. Oh, I missed, I missed the dinosaur making a crack in the glass, Snowy. Darn it! I knew I was gonna miss something. There's so much detail to look at. Oh, watch out, we're gonna get wet. <laughs> That's true. Ripped, I can just ride it again. Oh, this is bad. This looks very bad. So a dinosaur has escaped. Please remain calm, everyone. Oh, that's not good. Going up. 
as PR Ridley said, it's something that they pushed for when designing the map. So there was a little bit of a history of everything. Uh, Osaka got Back to the Future because they were the last ones closing the ride. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it definitely was a nice nod to all of them. Seemingly. I haven't been to Osaka myself. I would love to, though. Oh, not the ceiling, Raptors! Biggest danger is getting wet. <laughs> so far. Okay, I take that back. Hopefully you won't see it. If we don't move, you won't see us, right? Here comes a big oh here comes a big drop. Oh god. Go go go. <laughs> All right. We made it. Close call everyone. Thank god that big drop was there. Yeah, that was really cool. That was again an amazing recreation from the parts I remember from the original ride. And I got a glimpse of the or I got to understand how the new ride works, the Jurassic World uh, overlay. Since I have not been on that version yet. Looks like I have a lot to be uh, excited for when I do. Exactly, Alex, a very close call. All right, awesome. That was a successful mission, everyone. Oh, <laughs> love the, uh, whatever that guy's name is, the little park owner guy. Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World shirts, I should say. Oh, great. All right, and then there is the, uh, the center nearby, I believe. Let's see, let's see if I can find it. Uh, Robert says, I must say I've never had an interest in Minecraft and never cared to play it, but this literally makes me want to get it just so I can have this experience. You and me both! I Every time I come into this, I'm like, oh, maybe I should play Minecraft, because everything I see here, from Everbloom Games especially, is amazing. Um, oh no, Redstone Scientist, that sucks! I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm glad everything's okay now. I'm going back into the... I'm confused. I went back into the main ride somehow. Oh, they have a studio directory here as well. That's great. So we can see all the main attractions here. So we've done Mummy, Back to the Future. We need to do Jaws still. We've done E.T. We have to do Studio Tour. Earthquake. I keep forgetting about Earthquake. We haven't done King Kong yet either. Okay. It's in the Jurassic Center. Is this the... Wait, Jurassic Center, is that the Jurassic Center right there? That looks like it would be. Wait, rest of the wait, no turn around, lol. Uh-oh. That was a while ago, though. <laughs> I'm so confused. Is it this way? Okay, take the right instead of the left to go to the Innovation Center. Okay, I think I made a right. This looks like it. That looks like Innovation Center. <laughs> Thank you, signs. All right, thanks everyone. Oh, this is this is this is just like Jurassic World. And this this isn't actually at the theme park, right? No, I I know, or at least not at Hollywood. This might be from Orlando, maybe. I like a hologram. Oh, I can interact with it. Where do I? This. Oh, I can change it! Oh, that's sick. Yeah. 
This is really cool. Now the detail, guys. You guys went overboard on this. Oh, this is from Osaka. Okay. I, that is awesome. And you guys have kind of made the ultimate universal theme park here, really. Oh, Raptor Encounter? Uh, SPR Ridley says that it has a mini-games they have for real in Orlando, but themed in Jurassic World, except the Holoscape. Or Holoscape. That's from the movies. Got it. Okay. Oh, that's neat. Man, I love that. Oh, you got a, you have an ad for the Velocicoaster from Orlando. River Adventure from uh, Hollywood in Orlando. Oh, the Gyrosphere from the movie. You think the Gyrosphere would make a good ride? Oh, this is from Orlando. And is that the TV show? Are they actually building something there? All right, let's talk to you. The lab techs managed to not let one that all four raptors out of their pants. What's with these guys? Owen's uh, missing in action, and frankly, we're panicking. We haven't been able to get them back in ourselves, and all the lab techs who knew anything about these animals ran off screaming. The raptors just charge anyone they see or hear, which isn't exactly great for someone who's trying to keep their various body parts intact. Then again, maybe you could use that sort of thing, that sort of behavior, to trick them back into their cages. That seems concerning. Please, we're kind of desperate. We've got something for you. If you survive, I mean, pull it off. Oh, thanks heavens. Oh, thank heavens. We'll try our best. Uh, we'll try to find Owen in the meantime. But do your best, okay? Okay, let's get uh, let's get started. First, you have to sneak over and press those big red buttons in the walls. That will open the cages. Filter bat. Uh, filter. Oh, after that, you can focus on luring the raptors back into their containers. Remember, these are dangerous creatures, and to find you, there's a very real chance that they will try to eat you. They'll probably hear any running or jumping around, so only do that if you feel absolute mess. Okay, I'm understanding your comments now to someone else in the chat. This is where we have to sneak around, I'm guessing. Good luck! Alright. We gotta round up some raptors. Raptor roundup. There's one. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! Holy! That was a jump scare! <laughs> that was scary! <laughs> Did not see that coming. Oh, there- Why- Why is he on the ceiling? What the hell? They can go on ceilings now? Okay, how- Okay, are these the cages? Like... Oh, are these make sound? Oh my god. It's re oh, it's reflection. <laughs> that makes so much more sense. Okay, all right, all right. That that actually that's even cooler. I'm an idiot for not picking up on that. That's really neat. So that's actually can be useful too. Okay, this is a this looks like a cage. Can I climb? Oh god, are you close? Okay, I'm guessing I can't climb these. How I... Oh, can I like emit? Oh, I'm emitting sound, I think. Or something. Yeah, I think that's how you get their attention. Whoa! <laughs> Alright. Wait, this this looks like a cage. Okay, I think I think we're figuring this out. We're gonna make some noise. Get some attention. Okay, come on, come on, dude. You can do it. You're so close. Oh, I thought that was a, I thought that was glass. Okay. Now we're gonna slam this button. Wait. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's coming up here. I thought I had the right idea. Wait, where's the open cage? Where, where's the cage itself? Okay, I'm a little confused. This is not what I want. Wait, is the cage back here? Is that? Oh, okay, I see. Okay, yeah, okay, this is right. This is the cage, I see. That room's not the cage, this is the cage. Do I have to run back then? Or is there a close button nearby? Why are the buttons so far? <laughs> this does not seem like a safe design. All right, come on, uh, come on little raptor guy. Where are you? Oh, you're, you're up there still. 
That was a very immediate turn. Come on. Come on down. Yeah, follow me. Just like that. Let's, let's get into the cage. And away from the controls. Oh god! <laughs> Why is this like the scariest game ever? Is the cage still open? Uh, I think it is. No, it's not. Okay, well now we have a better idea of what to do. I forgot we can run too. That might be useful. Open cage. There we go. Alright, open cage. Okay, follow me. And don't eat me this time, please. What? I said I asked nicely. Okay, yes. Apparently I am bad at all these mini games. <laughs> I think running, I think he hears me while I'm running. Oh, that's why, right, the crouch, we talked, we, we covered this. Okay, so we're gonna... Can I... How do I lure him into the cage? Third button. Uh, I'm getting nervous. Oh, I got him. Or her. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got her. Okay, thank God. All right. Are there more? Are more. This reminds me of that Jurassic Park. Oh, ooh, uh, there's like a Raptor survival game on Oculus Quest. Kind of like that, actually. Okay, we opened another cage. I did not see where the cage was. Oh, oh god, there's two of them here? Uh. Oh god! <laughs> Lane by the Velociraptor. It looks like there was a checkpoint though, so. Okay, rest of us are sneak. Alright, yeah. My biggest enemy is patience. Wow, that, that Velociraptor did not care. Like, maybe I shouldn't sneak into their path. Oh, no, no, you didn't see anything. No! Oh! Oh, wait, is that the cage? That looks like that's probably... Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Restone says, if you get bored, you can bail with an escape button at the entrance. All right, thanks. I might give it one more attempt here. I'm definitely not bored. There's more just a matter of time. I want to show off uh, more if we can. Jeez! Alright, let me I'm gonna try one more time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Why is this the scariest game I've played? Okay, is he here? Okay, he's not there that time. Oh, there they Oh! <laughs> Alright. We're gonna we're gonna move on, I think. That's uh that's awesome though. So you can see. That there's a lot for you to do in this game, beyond uh, just riding the rides, riding the movies, as they say or said. All right, cool. Um, all right, chat. Let's take a look at what uh, options we have left. So I believe we have 
I think we have Earthquake, we have the Backlot Tour, the Studio Tour, and then we also have, uh, King Kong. And there may be more that I'm missing. What do you want to see, chat? Oh, DNA sequence? Okay, so while you decide that, chat, uh, we're gonna go check out the DNA sequence first. I can get rid of my map. Perfect. Thanks, Redstone. We're gonna go check that out. I do love Mr. Uh, DNA. I don't know if he's here or not, but... DNA sequencing, here we go. Oh, Earthquake's part of the tram tour. Thank you, SPR Ridley. Okay, so between Earthquake... King Kong and Jaws. Those are our main three things, I think. Or, no, I'm sorry. Did I say that wrong? I meant Studio Tour, uh, Jaws, and King Kong. That's, yeah, maybe that's what I said. Okay. Option one or option two? Ooh, which, I don't know. Should I do, <laughs> which option? <laughs> Chat, decide. <laughs> no kidding, question mark, man. You'd have to sign a waiver for someone like this in real life. Giant says King Kong. Uh, option two says Alex. Alright, we'll do option two. Oh, it, it is Mr. DNA! Select a trait. Oh, we gotta be a carnivore, right? Okay, do you wanna be strong or fast? You wanna be strong. Large? Yeah, we're just going, we're going all in. Go big or go home. Solo or pack. Ooh. I think it will be, oh, what do you think, chat? Solo or pack? There's probably something on the screen. I just realized we're option one, option two initially that I missed, but. All right, should it be a solo large carnivore or a pack large carnivore? Chat. Green, okay. Green would be solo. So we're gonna go, I think we'll go solo. It hey, let's run free my head too, the real Sean. All right, select a trait. Oh, okay, are we moving on to phase two then? Brain scan? That's good. Oh, that's disturbing they have this technology. All right, bring hand. There we go. Yes, the DNA animation, so good. Ready to print. All right, what do we, what do we have here? Did something just get... Did I just get something? Oh, wait. Is it my inventory? Oh, is this... Wait, is, did we just make this? Is this what I made? This is hilarious. Oh, my God. That is our... Is that our creation? Yeah, that... That, oh, that is amazing. That's so funny. I love that. It does look cursed, Alex. <laughs> that is so good. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad I did that. Thanks for recommending that. that is a little, I like how they have multiple stations too. That is amazing. That is so funny. We we truly made a we made a true monstrosity. We got like the museum exhibits effectively. This is so cool. The size comparisons. This is amazing. All right. Uh, so do we decide what we're doing next, chat? Isn't that <laughs> Super Hidden's like, what the hell? <laughs> That's creepy, says Colin. Creepy in the best way possible, though. That is amazing. I love that. All right. Chat, do we decide on if we're doing uh, Jurassic Park? Or, I'm sorry. Uh, Jaws, King Kong, or Studio Tour? Whatever I see. Come up next. I'll take. Yeah, the holograms turned out extremely well. Jaws. All right, let's do Jaws. I'm down for Jaws. I haven't written Jaws in forever since it doesn't exist anymore at Orlando. It's still in Japan, apparently. Where's the warp point? There we go. Amity Island. SPR Ridley says Jaws is super fun. All right, I'm excited. Get my bearing here. Okay, go toward the, the river, I suppose. This looks like it. Probably where the boats are, is my guess. Um, 
Maybe it's on the other side now. Uh, Alex says, I bet the dino head would be customized for every skin, including uh, Petra? I believe. I believe it. Oh, and Rest of Scientist uh, confirms that. That's so cool. Oh, here we go. Here's the attraction. I remember this from Orlando. Now it's a Harry Potter section. Hey. Whoa, he's got a harpoon gun! We're gonna, we're gonna back away from him. We're not gonna trust him. Amity Boat Tours. The scuba dive dogs, okay. Oh, is this is this a minigame? Okay, that's a minigame, so we'll come back for that. We wanna do the ride first. I love these no lines. Oh, of course we can go front again. Maybe we should go on the left side. I feel like being on the side might be good for the Jaws encounters. Oh, it might be too close? Welcome oh no, I saw your comment too late, Redstone. Hop on board. My name is Shoot. Dean. Welcome aboard. Well, I'll just make sure I look around. Now I know that our town's got a little bit of a reputation, but don't you worry about anything because we have come equipped with a TNT launcher! Woo! <laughs> oh, but we won't be needing it. No one's seen a great white around here in 49 years, so we're gonna be fine. We'll be fine. Now let me just check in with Base, make sure everything's clear to go. Base, are we clear to go? Uh, this is Base. You are clear for departure MD6. Have a good trip. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> Give me a second. Old girl's getting finicky. There, up we go. Hello. Wave goodbye to your friends and loved ones, everyone. Batteries popped out. That. Now, as I said, my name is Dean, and I'll be your guide for this scenic tour of Amity Island. All right, everybody, welcome to Captain Jake's Amity Boat Tours. We are the best and only scenic boat tour on the island, and we'll be visiting the actual spots where back in 1974, the beast we called Jaws devoured all those poor islanders. Now, the first item of interest over on your port side is the home of our very own Chief of Police, Martin Brody. After blowing up that monster of a shark, he became a legend in his own time. By the way, in that movie they made about our little shark episode... Hey, 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 it's out there. I don't know what, but it's all right. Oh, no. Did they actually reference the movie? I... Like, as a thing that existed within hey, the universe of the ride? Did you copy that transmission just That's now? Really cool. Sounded like Gordon on Amity 3. Over. Copy that. We'll see. What on earth? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Uh, base, this is Amity 6. Amity 3 is sinking by the lighthouse. I repeat, Amity 3 is sinking, and I don't see any sign of the crew or passengers. This is such a cool ride. Right? Uh, Amity 6, repeat that. Oh, there he is! Uh, There's Jaws! The shark! 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 <laughs> oh my. Uh, Base, he's under the boat. What do we do? Uh, stay calm, stay calm. Uh, try, try the TNT launcher. Over. TNT really? launcher? Uh, Blow him up. Uh, base, this is Amity Dick. Tell Chief Brody we're going to hide in the boathouse until we get help. Uh, we'll be safe in there in the meantime. Uh, everyone okay? We're okay. We're okay. We're going to be okay. Where can we tie up? Hello? Anybody in here? Huh. Did you hear something? <laughs> come on. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. Come on, come on, old girl. Come on, we gotta go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hold on. There! Alright, off we go! No! Look out! Amity 6, 
You don't get a trip on. Ten minutes? We're gonna be shark bait in ten minutes! I was gonna say! Alright guys, I don't see him. But- Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, this is very bad. Come on guys, we gotta get away from this gas dock. Gotta go for it. All this fire, which actually happened in real life. It was go, like, you know, hang on tight. The fire everywhere in the ride. It was so cool. Looks like we made it. Hold tight, everyone. We should be okay. <sighs> yeah, I don't see him anywhere. I think that's the last we'll see of him. <sighs> we're gonna we're gonna try and get off of that old fishing shack and get off one row at a time. Everyone, for now, just stay seated and keep your hands in the boat. Oh, this is you, the redstone. You did the voice for this, all oh, in one and, take. Uh, watch out for that high voltage barge. I That's think amazing. Can... Oh no, You're not natural. again! Come on. Where's... Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> I'm, I'm saying the lines before he does. Oh, dude! Come on. Oh, you get electrocuted. I think I got it. Does anyone see it? There! Just be short. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. Man, he got wrecked. But oh, we roasted him! <laughs> what a day! Deputy Sick, what was that? Where the heck are you? This is Brody, are you alright? Yeah, Chief, this is Amity Six. Call off the Marines. We are coming home! Whew! Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to thank you all for your incredible bravery today, but, um, we don't need to, we don't need to tell anyone what happened out there, all right? If that fish episode leaks, that'd be it for Captain Jake and a lot of the other businesses around here, so just keep it to yourselves. I mean, after all, we did get him, didn't we? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Well, on behalf of Captain Jake and Universal Studios, thank you for helping me conquer Jaws. I'll see you next time. That's awesome. That was so cool. Like, once again, just like I remember from the ride, amazing, and off he goes. I just now made the connection, Kyle, that you're in the chat, too. I totally missed you earlier, so I didn't recognize that as your name. Uh, yeah, the sound design, fantastic. So great uh, having you here as well. Thanks for the code, by the way. I am loving everything about this. This is so incredibly impressive. Once again, you guys keep raising the game. Oh, we even have the sign here pointing to all the uh, different little shops, I imagine. Boardwalk snacks. Do they have like shark fins? <laughs> or <laughs> that actually probably wouldn't be a great thing to have in a theme park. <laughs> but, like little bits of Jaws or something. <laughs> Jaws Swiss roll. All right. Okay, so now, oh wait, we had the, um, the mini game too. Let's go check out the mini game. I almost forgot. Keep forgetting about these. Maybe I'll actually let's see if we can find a mini game that can beat. These mini games have been very difficult so far. Treasure dive. Okay, I'm not gonna read all of this this time, but because we're getting a harpoon gun, I think, or something. Okay, we can also hide in pockets for survival. So, all right. Well, 30 people to make it, I believe in Redstone. I mean, <laughs> not that I would doubt you, but seeing the credits early on, um, it did look pretty beefy for the, the team size. And I can see why. There's so much detail here. Oh, this reminds me of that PlayStation VR game. We were in the shark cage. Oh, okay. Well, we're not anymore. Now we're exposed. All right, so do I have, a, like, a weapon? Is this, is this it? Yeah, I think that is my weapon, so... I hear, like, it sounds like it's close by. Oh, there's so much more than I thought! This is huge. For some reason, the art style is specifically reminding me of a uh, wet dry world, you know, the blockiness from Mario 64. Okay, I need to find treasure, right? Okay. So where is this treasure? 
Oh, I've got a little boost too. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Freaking Jaws, how did you just sneak up on me like that? Oops. Yeah, there should be uh, some good loot in the ship, right? In the shipwreck. Maybe not. Okay, that is not an entrance. SPR really says it's the scariest dry dry talks. <laughs> Seems that way. Oh, that was a close call. Get out of here, Jaws. He's done. All right. He's still stunned. Okay, good. Where is this treasure at? That. There we go. Just in time. Oh, there's seven of them. Ja no, Jaws, get out of here. Ah! <laughs> all right, well, I don't think we're gonna find, um, I don't think we're we have time for all seven, unfortunately. Let's see. Oh my, this guy's not giving me, he's not giving me a break. Get out of here. <laughs> So he's laughing. I know, pretty funny. We'll do one more treasure dive. There are a bunch of places treasure can spawn and it randomly selects them, says Red, Red Scientist. And I can interact with the cage to leave. Thanks. Alright, we'll, we'll see if I can... I'll probably <laughs> get killed in the back at, back at the cage naturally in a second here. Oh! Of course. <laughs> Alright, you know, I won't give it one more go. Where is, where is this guy? Did he just try to bite me? Oh, he's right there. Oh, he is relentless. Oh, I didn't even realize I have an air meter, too. Oh, and our treasures carry over? Jaws. That. Oh, right there, right there. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna call it a day with two treasures. And right, we're back. Your treasure's been lost. We can try it again another time. All right. Well, that's cool. Yeah. All the mini games are very different to each other. So uh, let's say we have King Kong. Studio, I think. Is that is that it? I think I say that as if it's not a ton, but I mean we've. I'm more impressed by how much we've done. So chat, what do you want, King Kong or Studio Tour? See, Brandon says yes. The theme, heck yeah. King Kong says Alex. All right, let's do King Kong. There is a warp point right there. Let's go on. Okay, people. A lot of people want King Kong. All right, let's do it. Oh, I love this. This definitely reminds me of the Orlando attraction. Where we're gonna board a, uh, uh, board a truck, I believe. Base camp. Yes, they did a really good job at Skull Island in real life and as well as in the game here. I love the cave entrance. Kong's Banana Path Temple. We'll have to check that out soon. But for now, we're going to do the uh, ride experience. I feel like you always see uh, the, the old-timey radio in a lot of these, uh, like, 1940s type, type attractions, like um, Indiana Jones. Maybe that's it. I feel like I've seen it. I feel like I've seen it other places, too. Rest of says, listen to all the gibberish. Oh, uh, in the queue? Or... I definitely will. Oh. That 
was a little creepy. All right. So I think this is the gibberish. I perfectly understood that witch. What's this little alcove here? Okay, this is a bad sign. Maybe we should turn away? <laughs> This isn't in the actual ride, is it? If it is, I don't remember. They have the worm from the movie? Or that creepy, crawly thing? Oh, yep. They confirm. Alright, well, here we go. Where's our truck? Uh, I don't know which way it's coming. Which one's the front? Oh, look at that way. So we. Uh, I don't want to stand. I think we'll sit a little further back this time. So our view's not completely obscured by the By the way, there. my name's Rick. I should probably go even farther back. Around here and just call me Jinx, because I've had my share of good luck. And before you had, yeah, I'll be here. Let's get realistic, that's Rose Middle. Okay, I'm closer to it at least. Let's try to keep it that way. This is so cool, because yeah, the trucks drive themselves in real life. Just like, I mean, obviously here too. <laughs> but there's no track or anything. Yeah, Millie, on the way. Am I crouching? Uh, I don't. Honey, you speak the language? Oh. I don't know how to uncrouch if I am. You ever get the feeling you was being watched? I think I just, I probably should have chosen the edge seat so I could better see. This would be a good time to get those goggles on. Keep your mouth shut. It's all good to rest down. Maybe that was a con. Don't look so mighty now. This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. Put that up over there. Hi, you Kate. Hey, Jinx. Park your truck over there. Good timing. We're gonna need help putting up the traps. Joe, how's it look back there? Hold on, I need more light. <laughs> oh, great. I hate these flying rats. Take cover! <laughs> I don't think I will, uh, Machine Will. Keep my arms and hands in the vehicle, okay? Oh, that's not good. The worms, get out of there. Oh, almost made it. Jurassic World. No plan. <laughs> Lots of dinosaurs I just realized in Universal theme park attractions. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. So in real life, these are giant IMAX style screens, but it's all, you know, fully 3D here, which is amazing. Oh, 
Oh, there's King Kong! Yeah, take him down! Whoa, we're going over the vehicle! Oh! I'm putting money on, uh... It's Joel Kong, coming up on your left! <laughs> you just chill on top of the truck. Oh, this works in VR? Oh, this would be amazing in VR. I didn't realize that redstone. Oh, man, I gotta try this in VR later if I can. Oh, this would be so freaking cool. Heck yeah, Robert. If you have Game Pass, Minecraft is free on that. And then this expansion is $8, I believe. Oh, I see redstone. That's good to know. I may have to look into that. Oh, and here's the, uh... Holy cow! He's right in front of us! The giant King Kong animatronic. Which is how they end the ride, I believe. I remember the original Hollywood version, like, way back before it burned down. He had, like, a distinct banana breath smell. I don't know if they still have that or not in this version. But yeah, there was... I like that they concluded with a throwback, okay. not throwback animatronic, but the new animatronic kind of paid tribute to the original. It was a huge animatronic. Team one, this is base. Hey, you're alive! I know, hard to believe. How are you doing? Well, let's see. Team one, are we all right? Well, you made it through this time. If you're ever in the Big Apple, look me up. And I'll beat it after we come to a Stop. That was cool. Stop. And don't forget your gear. That Thanks. was really cool, in we fact. We need someone to pick up Dr. Creelman's team in the West Gorge. You up for another run? Sure, Millie. They call me Frank. I think my luck has finally changed. All right, let's see. Uh, we, may, we may have a few minutes to check out the minigame. Unfortunately, I have to wrap it up pretty soon. But uh, we'll see if we can try out the minigame real quick. And then we got to check out this tour. Is the tour... How long... Actually, do you... Is the tour as long as... The real life version, but that's a long ride in real life, so I'm guessing it's probably not the full 45 minutes it is in real life. The tour is 16 minutes. Okay, thank you, Redstone. Of course you would know the exact length. <laughs> like to the minute. Where was the Here we go. Kong's Banana Path Temple. Okay, so we'll have time for for that then. Oh, it says that when you ride too? That makes sense. That's right. I've seen that review attractions, right. Johnny says, try two treasures. Is that what I'm doing now? Oh, man. You're gonna have puzzles, huh? Well, this is, uh... <laughs> this is definitely gonna stump me. You thought it was bad the action games, but you see how bad I am at puzzle games. The Redstone says at the end of this minigame, look for the snot bubble. Okay. Now I've got to see this through. Stepping into the chamber, he knows a, whole, a, a note from one of the researchers. It seems to be a translation and some writing on the wall saying something about the path forward being opened by treading all paths evenly and without revisiting old ground. Oh, this sounds like... I've done something like this before. Wait, is it already starting? No. Oh, yeah. Uh, didn't uh, Mario RPG have a puzzle like this? Or definitely played something like, like this before. Oh, they drop immediately? Okay. Oh, God! You really have no time. There we go. This is so cool. I actually like these mini games. I'm trying to remember what it reminds me of specifically. Maybe a Mario Party mini game or something. There we go. 
go. All right, we're, we're crushing that so far. I want to jump over the wall. I cannot. I'm not sure if I have to step on all of them, but I'm doing it anyway. It's the principle of the matter. Oh, Song Frontiers, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Thank you, Redstone. But we're not done yet! Whoa, what? Oh, hold on. That was not that was not my bad. I did that perfectly. I think I just stepped on it, maybe. Okay, what am I? Hold on. Am I just stepping on it wrong, I think? Yeah, I think I'm just triggering them a little early. Uh, okay, I, I actually screwed that up. <laughs> the last one, a little tricky. What if I just go, this, can I just go this way then? No, like, oh, I think I do have to activate all of them then, okay. Oh wait, no, I see how. Okay, I'm just a moron. As established. There we go. I thought there was only like one middle connector for some reason. I'm like, how is that possible? <laughs> Chaos control machine well, exactly. Hey, we made it, alright! We actually completed the minigame! I think. Return to Brian Goldaber for your reward, alright. How do we do that? That was cool. I like that mini game. Shouldn't that be my reward? Like I want, I want whatever. I want this golden monkey more than whatever he's gonna give me. Hey, you made it. You found him, huh? That's great. And it looks like you found something on the way too. I knew I said you could help yourself to treasure, but I'll trade you something just as good and more useful to you uh, to you for it, Kate. You want to do the honors? Excellent, you've done this a great service, friend, and you're more than welcome to come back if you want to redo these puzzles. In the meantime, just let, uh, though, let's just try to be quiet with the big guy sleeping nearby. Right, the snot bubble! Ah! No! <laughs> I totally missed it! Can I go back? I'm a moron. I realized as I'm returning it, the snot bubble. It was on the statue? Or can I, is it at the end of the ride? Oh my goodness, I'm such a moron. On Kong. I totally even see Kong. Wait, wait, on the statue I had? He was sleeping. So at the end, right? So I can go back then, right? I didn't even see him. How did I not even see him? Alright, I didn't even notice. Yeah, I'm just like I said earlier. So I can go back and do it, right? I don't know, Redstone. I can't <laughs> I can't account for my lack of observation. It was the size of the entire room. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna do this again real quick. We can go back, right? So... Alright, we know- we're, we're a pro with this now. We can probably do this in, what, two minutes? If even that? Okay, cool. Alright, we're gonna- we're gonna see the snot bubble. I wanna see the snot bubble. After the hype! These sounds are really creepy, by the way. Great sound design throughout this entire uh, experience. Whoa, 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 God. Right, I think we're in the final room now. Johnny, we're playing the uh, Minecraft uh, crossover Universal Studios Exp Experience DLC made by Everbloom Games. We have the developers in the chat with us right now, uh, which is awesome because, um, a couple years ago, we played through the Disney World version, and uh, this is at least as impressive, if not more. And it's so cool having the developers hang out with us. 
Giving us all the pro tips and insider information. Yeah, the ambiance rider, it's so good. Like, as a huge theme park fan. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I didn't see it. What? How did I not even see that before? Oh my god, I'm a moron. And there is a snot bubble. I love it. That's so good. Cool way, Kong. Can we interact with Kong? Could we wake him up? Alright, I'm glad we came back. That was worth it. The snot bubble is hilarious. <laughs> Job well done. Oh, the statue's under his hand. Like, I just thought it was like a, <laughs> that was like a pile of dirt. <laughs> Silly me. That's amazing. I love it. That is fantastic. I'm such an idiot. Can't believe I overlooked that. Despite like you staring straight at him as we enter. Amazing. Great job, everyone. What is what is going on there? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put that guy in timeout. <laughs> Alright, back to this. Alright, can we actually we can probably use our map now. So I think all that's left of the primary attractions, I'm sure there's tons of smaller stuff I'm missing, is the uh, Universal, or sorry, the um, Studio Tour. So let's go check it out. Here we are. So this will be, I imagine, based on the Hollywood version. Which is like the main, kind of the main thing there. There's an Earthquake. The Flash Flood. Yeah, I love the Flash Flood. Yeah, they have their, Jaws is also part of this attraction, at least in the, you know, in Hollywood. I don't know if that carried over here. Uh, SPR really says it's part of Hollywood's with new stuff by us in parts. Oh, that's awesome. And then the Redst Redstone, uh, sorry, Redstone, Redstone Scientist says, so there are big differences depending on where you sit. I recommend sitting in the middle car in the second or third row. Thank you for the heads up before I idiotically chose a seat. So, middle car in the second or third row of it. Okay, perfect. And this strip, this is the Hollywood entrance. I remember this. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we'll, hmm. we'll do the tram tour first. Ready for the quiz? I mean, audition. Yeah. Oh, wait. That, this is a minigame, so we're gonna do that after. So, we'll come back and we'll do the quiz afterward. Okay, so, here's the entrance. Luckily, we have to walk through the entire queue. So, car, so you're thinking... TRS, thank you. That might be easier. A middle car in the second or third row. So there's three cars then? Okay. I will go. So straight in the middle then, right? This would do it? Middle row. Just making sure I'm not misunderstanding. Middle car in the second or third row of it. Okay. Hello there. My Here we go. Mary and I shall be your guide today through our tour of Universal Studios and our grand history. Perfect. TRS. this job alone. So let me introduce my partner in crime, my other half, and most importantly, our driver, George. Be nice to him, considering our lives are in his hands. Now, just a reminder to stay inside the tram at all times during the tour. That includes your hands, feet, head, tentacles, or any other appendages you might have with you. The last thing we need is for someone to get caught on something or fall out of the car and create a real world Are we going to have problem. the Jimmy Fallon <laughs> tram the tour song? Tram tackler day or whatever it was? As we go along this tour, not. you will become familiar with the main features of our lovely park and learn some fun and interesting parts of our history. You never know when that sort of knowledge will come in handy. The first destination on our tour is Timeline Drive. Here you can see posters. SPR Ridley says if you're in the front hits, car, you can experience Mary's great acting. Huh? We can see her right there. Dracula. That's if you're cool. Ever in need of something to watch on a Friday night, maybe give one of these a try. Some of them may be a bit old, but they're still beautiful works of art. Get some friends together and maybe try the original version of The Mummy or Creature of the Black Lagoon. You'll get a kick out of them. The film's Universal Studios is better known for in our day and age. Start in the later half of the Three 1900s. Any of you have probably heard of the classic thriller Jaws from 1975 or one of my favorites, the 1982 movie E.T. If you didn't know, E.T. stands for extraterrestrial, meaning something that came to Do you to think that's actually the tour guide's favorite or do, do all the tour guides just say that? Did maybe they all love just E.T. Um, that much. On our right, these large structures are the studio's production buildings. This is where the magic happens, where everyone comes together to make the movies that we love. It takes a huge number of people to make a film, though. Resto says any pixel art is made by hand. I love effects. that. Of 
course, we need actors, but we also need writers to make. And those thrill, posters are amazing. They sure are gorgeous, Redstone. And everyone else make the best artistic choices, and producers to keep everyone on schedule. That's true, Brer. Who doesn't love E.T.? without our carpenters, gaffers, lighting crew, camera people, especially the E.T. ride, as shown in this experience. Honestly, if you can think of a job, chances are someone with that job has worked on at least one movie with us here, or at least for a little while. Look at these tramps taking these staircases like a champ. <laughs> now entering the New York section. We're only here for a moment, but you can see the Museum of Antiquities. There, you'll find our Revenge of the Mummy ride, where you can help defeat an ancient evil alongside the brave and dashing Rick O'Connell. Oh, so we're actually going through the theme park here. Don't worry, we'll be back to see the rest of New York later. That's cool. I think, did the, I know the Orlando version had, they had like a, did they have a tram tour there ever? I think they may have done something like this if they did. I can't remember. Now I welcome you to the Golden Gate City, San Francisco. Hey, Mike. This Where are you still is famous for its tram system and infamous for its earthquakes. Most earthquakes are caused when two tectonic plates grind against each other and suddenly shift. TRS says, yeah, I would have recommended you ride this first. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it last. <laughs> you know it, most of California, San Included lies on a fault line, so you can expect this will have been definitely useful. Earthquakes in this area. Speaking of which, I want to show you a little demonstration on how we make earthquakes in the movies. <laughs> this machine well this says, I remember making a dirt house in Minecraft. Right this is just a little bit more impressive, we right? With that movie, though, the guys in charge thought, hmm, you know, earthquakes are pretty common in movies, so let's just keep this one. Now, all they need to do is redecorate the scene oh, whenever I they want this to earthquake location. Let's see it in action. Here's the earthquake part. Here we go. So we're, I think, we're in a BART, the San Francisco train station right now. Oh my god. Oh boy, yeah, just like the real thing. I think a truck slides down, there it is. Amazing. Train. There it is. Unfortunately, we didn't get a great view of the train, but it actually breaks apart. I think we'll see as we pass by here. Oh, and we got the flood. This is an amazing thing. Yeah, see, yeah, there's a train that broke apart. You can see it split in half there. Did I turn the time, TRS? I think I did, right? Did I miss anything big? Welcome back to the Big Apple. Hope I didn't. This grand old town has history and culture everywhere, provided you can overlook the Yorkshire Terrier-sized rats, and it's a massive hub of the arts. The famous street Broadway is home to some of the best and most popular theater performances in the world, but you can find beautiful, rich work all over town. The city is like an incubator for the arts, some place where some of our country's greatest works are born, including a bunch of movies. Not everything is filmed in California after all. Passing on our left, we see the building where the ride based on Steven Spielberg's famous film E.T. runs. If you haven't yet, you should give it a whirl. Now that's something to phone home about. <laughs> Now this is what we call Hollywood Land, and up here is our Monster Cafe, where you can see all of the classic monsters from our films, like Frankenstein's monster, Dracula, the Wolfman, and the creature from the Black Lagoon. And don't worry, they don't bite. Much. <laughs> We're passing by the. It really does capture the feel of a studio now. tour at right now it's missing Hollywood. Else. I heard that Woody Woodpecker asked you to help find the missing letters and restore the globe. I hope to see those letters back soon. The park just isn't the same without them all spinning around. Something smells swampy. I heard a green ogre lives over there. There he is. 
We saw him at the beginning of the stream. Yeah, is this a super cool reel, Sean? This is an amazing recreation of Universal Studios. Let's all just take a moment to appreciate the beautiful sounds of nature. Of course, that's all just part of the movie magic. From here, though, we'll be taking a turn into the darker side of the park. Oh, boy. We now enter the realm of the Lord of the Jungle. Join me as we pay tribute to... Take that, Kong. King of the Jungle. Kong. Lord of the Jungle. Kong. Everyone! The Lion King. Kong. Kong! Kong! Really? No one? I'm just... Okay. Well, let's hope he isn't insulted by your lack of reverence. Otherwise, he might throw this tram all the way to New York. And I don't mean movies that we just drove through on the way here. By the way, if you haven't yet and are feeling particularly brave, I highly recommend stopping by the ride we have here, Reign of Kong. You can join Kate and her expedition team as they delve into the caverns and other lost places to uncover the secrets of Skull Island. This is what we call Old Mexico, and it's just the kind of place we'd take a camera crew if they were looking to film something set out in the old Wild West. Now this area has something of a weird localized weather system. Oh, we can get the flood so sequence too. Yeah, we are. Hey, From Hollywood. Uh, George, why don't you stop the tram? You can't go again, right? No, I'm not asking the passengers to get out and fly. Not in the rain. That's just seriously. Oh, there it is. <laughs> No, keep it going. Oh, SPR Ridley says, little trivia here, and it's a mirrored version from the real one in Hollywood. I was wondering why it felt a little different to me. Right. Because you pull in on the right side of the town, if I remember correctly, and you look out to the left. That's some good trivia. Jaws Stafford dropping. Talk about what it's like to work with dinosaurs and how they keep things going here. Wait a minute, this isn't Paddock Five. There's a five on the gate, right? Oh, maybe uh, we should be going in. Might have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Was it wasn't an abandoned. Uh, just a reminder, folks, to please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle oh. at all times. Whoa. <laughs> Oh wait, were there a telephone? Did something happen to telephone wires? I missed that. There's so much detail! I can't take it all in. I knew it! I knew it was gonna spray water at us! Oh, SPR Ridley said this one's based on the gyrosphere scene from the first Jurassic World. Oh, that's awesome. I'm amazed they haven't really made a ride based on that concept. Going to Jaws. Ah, this is now this is the Jaws dropping the park. part. Welcome to Amity Island, where the sun is warm and the swimming is prime. If you're in the mood for a beach day, this is the place to... The beaches the So this is from the Hollywood version, so we're going to see Jaws here again, I believe. Yep. <laughs> Just like in Hollywood. Love it. I don't know how much more of this my nerves can take. Oh, where is Police Chief Brody when you need him? Well, if you don't mind the giant killer shark, you're all more than welcome to come back and enjoy the Jaws ride at Amity Island, where it's always the 4th of July. Oh, my heart. 
Oh, that's cool, Brer. Like I didn't know about that. I'm starting to think it's time we quit this game. I mean, you saw what happened last week when the Velociraptors got Charlie. Now we're being charred by sharks and sprayed repeatedly by poisonous frilled dinosaurs. Well, I know it's otherwise a pretty good gig, but you don't think they'll fit. Those are typical workplace hazards. Too, right? No big deal. I, I, right, SPR Ridley. They, I recognize the animation for the for the shark. It was identical. <laughs> like that could pass oh, as the right. actual animation for it. It was perfect. On this trip, the Institute of Future Technology. I like how you can tell Jaws moves distinctly between Hollywood and Orlando, and you guys capture that perfectly. You can find his famous time traveling machine, and I believe or Japan, I guess it is now. Time and a new one too. Only being in Japan. Maybe we're stopping by. That ride. is, if you can think fourth dimensionally. Speaking of time travel, we're going to go back in time to 1955 to the famous Hill Valley Square. Maybe you recognize it from Marty McFly's adventures in Back to the Future. Oh, look! Yeah, even this set is like exactly as it is in Hollywood. What's he doing up there? Another one of his hair brained experiments? Let's stop for a second and see what he's up to. Though I don't like the look of those clouds. Hey, Doc! You need a hand or anything? Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah, I gotta connect it. Hurry, Doc! We're now out of time! Like, literally. Yes! Oh, that's awesome! That's so cool. See, I wish actual Tram Tour had that. That's amazing. Look, George, you know I like it when you get my heart racing, but maybe leave the stunt driving to the professionals, okay? I'm not sure what that was, folks, but... Doc is okay. We'll check the infirmary just in case once we're done here. Wouldn't be the first time we've seen him in there. We're entering the dark forest now, folks. I'd ask that you stay very quiet as we pass through these trees. You never know when something might be lurking nearby, and we don't want any monsters to notice us. No, we don't. Kyle really loves how the scene came together. Yeah, Kyle, I, I can, uh, it's already building up to something I can tell. This entire sequence has been amazing. Oh. Here is our last stop on the trip, Little Europe and the Court of Miracles. Several of our monster movies were made here, at least in part. Over there, you can actually see a set of double doors that were used in... What's that sound? <laughs> drive, George, drive! <laughs> yeah, get out of there! Oh, whoa. I think he's trapped in there. Oh, no, the poor thing. There's Frankenstein. Get out of there, Frankenstein. They look like the windmills on fire. It's actually just special effects. Are you they sure? Put out those fires in a few minutes, and there won't even be a singe on the structure I think she's just covering itself. for it. <laughs> now, just to be clear, poor Frankenstein's monster. Forget about this. The monster we just saw is from the movie Frankenstein, but Frankenstein was the name of the scientist who created the monster, not the monster himself. A common misconception. But the scientist is the true monster of the story, at least in the original book, because of his arrogance, thinking he had power over life and death, and because he was unable to love his own creation. SPR well, Ridley says a little sneak peek of Epic together. Universe. I was I wondering that. Does he have the whole he monsters Mary, section? My partner is George. If you didn't, my name is Sue, and the driver was just a figment of your imagination. Enjoy the rest of your day and come back any time to ride Universal Studios World Famous Studio Tour. Man, that bye was bye. awesome. That was so cool. That, I loved that. I mean, I loved everything about this, but the tram tour in particular, that was a lengthy experience. And I just love how detailed and true to life um, the spirit of it at least was. Now we got to do the, uh, the, the quiz, though, real quick. 
Hello, are you welcome? Uh, are you looking to become our next star here at Universal? Well, if you're going to get anywhere here, you're going to need to, to know some basic stuff about this park and our history. Show us, show the audience that you really care about Universal. You can audition with me by answering a series of questions. If you get them right, I'll give you something special to take with you. If you haven't yet, though, I highly recommend taking the tram tour first. All right. I think we're ready, chat. I think we're ready. Oh, SPR Ridley says a windmill on fire at Epic Universe. There's going to be a restaurant on fire. Looks awesome. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know that. So that's amazing. So keep an eye out for that when that opens uh, next year at uh, in Orlando. All right. All right, then. <laughs> I'm going to ask you 10 questions and give you four possible answers to each one. Answer all of them correctly, correctly and you win. Simple enough, right? Now let's, uh, now let's begin action. All right. Uh, where did the tram tour end up bringing you when it took a wrong turn in Jurassic World? Hammond's Lab, the Amber Mines, Area 5, Raptor Training. Oh my god. Wait. Tram tour ended up bringing you when it took a wrong turn in Jurassic World. I actually don't... I was... <laughs> apparently, it wasn't the lab, right? I don't think we went through any mines. Area 5? Raptor Training? Oh my god. Chat, I need help. Sesame Street? <laughs> uh, I think chat can help, Aiden. Is, is it Area 5 or Raptor Training? I think Area 5. I, I, okay, SPR Ridley. Well, you know, of course you know SPR Ridley. I was thinking Area 5. That's the only one that made sense. All right, how do I... Uh, Action. There we go. Yep, you instead end up in Restricted Area 5, the same restricted areas that Zack and Gray Mitchell found themselves in when the uh, Indominus Rex destroyed their vehicle. The wreckage is still there. It says no one's had the courage to go in there and clean it up. All right, here we go. Movie director, where's King Kong live? All right, this one, I got this one. Could be a trick question, though, because when they kidnap him, he kind of technically lives in New York, right? Monkey Island, Madagascar, with Skull Island, though. Action! Spot on, Skull Island is also home to various other prehistoric creatures that by all rights should have been long extinct by the time explorers discovered the place. Ah. What year of Hill Valley did you visit during the tram tour? Uh, that would have been 1955. Wait, yes, because they traveled from 1985 to 1955, and that's when Doc Brown, you know, connected the power lines... And, uh, yeah, got Marty McFly home. So. Action! Correctamundo, just as you were, Alex. It was the year 1955 that Doc helped Marty return to the future by using a lightning strike to power his time-traveling machine. Uh -huh. uh, what kind of natural disaster do you witness in our old Mexico set? So, uh, that was the Flash Flood. I'm 99% sure that was Flash Flood. Actually, 100% sure. Action! Hard to forget something like that, right? It might just be a movie set, but flash floods are a real danger out in the deserts. If it starts pouring rain like that, get to high ground and quickly. All right. Hmm. So we're on what? Question four or five now? A very important one. What was the name of your tour guide? Sue? Was it Sue? I'm so bad at names, but I think it was Sue. Was it Sue? I'm waiting for a confirmation from chat. Was it Mary? Was it, oh, wait, was it actually Mary? It was Mary? All right, well, sue me for being wrong. Apparently it was Mary. I trust SPR Ridley especially, so... Action! Yes, alright. Yes, you must have liked the tour then. <laughs> she always tries to blame Sue whenever our tour guide... Whenever our tour goes sour, but all in good fun. That's why I remember the name. She was blaming Sue. Okay. I... 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 I, I assure you, TRS, I enjoyed it. <laughs> hmm. The city of San Francisco is nicknamed the question... The what city? Uh... The dream, it's not Dream. The Bay City? Great Bridge City? The Golden Gate City? Did they say Golden Gate? Yeah, I lived there. You would think I would know this, but Dream is the only one that really makes sense within that phrasing. The Golden... But Golden Gate? That doesn't sound right. It has to be Dream. I've just never heard of it referred to it that way, except beyond... I was probably talking over the tour guide. Is it Golden Gate? Okay, I had... Okay, is it Golden Gate? SPR really says, I don't know I don't know this one, but I think it is Bay. I mean the Bay I mean it is the city by the Bay, but it's not really the Bay City, right? Rift think it's going I think it's Golden Gate too. We're going Golden Gate. Alright, that was it. Yeah. Yep, it gets a name for the famous and awesome inspiring Golden Gate Bridge that lives there. How long does it take to reset? Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. How long does it take the subway earthquake scene to reset? I was talking. It has to be it has to be one minute. It's a tram tour. They have trams coming through constantly. I'm going to... Oh, wait. This is tricky. Hundreds... I'm going to go 100 seconds. But that's... That's... A little under... That seems like perfect between, you know... One minute seems too quick. Five minutes is too long. 15 seconds is way too quick. I'm thinking 100 seconds. 15 minutes, says Super Aiden. 15 seconds? Is it 15 seconds? Impressive. It's famously 15 seconds. Well, I am impressed. 
I should, maybe that's why it's a shortest Action. one. Yep, that's exactly right. Time is money, so the quicker movie set can be restored, the less time it takes to redo a scene if you need to. Uh-huh. What does the letter T stand for in the in the classic Spielberg film E.T., the extra... Come on, chat. Terrestrial, right? Action. There we go. I should, oh, I should look at the other answers. Like, well, it's one tasty. Correct. Extraterrestrial is another name for space aliens, though it can more literally be applied to anything that isn't from planet Earth. Uh-huh. Oh, we got to be nearing the end. What was the species of dinosaur that rocked your tram in Jurassic World? Hint, uses his tail as a weapon. Uh, that would have been... Was it a Stegosaurus? No. Th- I mean... Ankylosaurus? It was either a Stegosaurus or Ankylosaurus. I don't know what Ankylosaurus actually is. Extra tasty, says WW. Thank you. Uh, is it Stega? Stegosaurus or Ankylosaurus? Is it Anky? Okay. Thank you, SPR Ridley. Action! You called it! <laughs> Indeed, that heavy bone at the end of his tail is the Ankylosaurus. First line... If I'm, am I even saying that right? Ankylosaur? First line defense against predators. The Ankylosaurus first appearance within that movie that they made about the park. Jurassic Park 3. Aha! Uh-huh. What character was the movie Frankenstein named after? What character was the movie? This is, this is a bit sneaky. The scientist, right? Not the lab assistant. Action. That's right. In the original book, the Universal movie was based on, the monster was actually quite intelligent and something of a philosopher, only becoming evil because his, cre- uh, his creator, Frankenstein, and other humans rejected him based on his appearance. Hmm. And then scene. That's a wrap, folks. That was wonderful. You really know your stuff. Yeah, we got a perfect record, thanks to chat. Uh, and the creative crew who made this. You really know your stuff. Listen, I'll get back to you about that uh, some acting later. But for now, take this as a token of my, pre- uh, of my admiration and prove that you know this park like the back of your hand. I am a you know somewhat of a theme park expert. So, so we got L and U, short for loser, <laughs> for me. All right, let's go take these letters back, and that's part we're gonna wrap it up. I know, sadly, I don't think we finished the uh, universal sign. But uh, we're gonna. I think that's a good way, a fitting way of wrapping everything up. Is it? Is that it straight ahead? Maybe. No, I don't think that's it. I got the U, or the yeah. I, that, the U was the reward for it, right? I know, where is that? Where's that universal sign? Whoa. Minecraft maps will never not confuse me. Robert says, I tried to make this next message into a super chat, but it kept giving me an error. Oh, really, Robert? Oh, no worries. I appreciate the effort. Okay, I, I don't know if I'm anywhere near the universal sign. <laughs> we could just teleport there. Oh, we are! We made it! Yeah, get on there! Alright, so we got the... So we're missing the... Eh, wait. We're missing the N, I, N, I, N, I, wait, U, N, I, <laughs> try to chase it around, U, N, I, V, I need the V, E, R, S, okay, I'm missing N, the A, I'm missing a lot, I'm missing a lot of letters here, I thought I had more than that, totally not, uh, Robert, what were we gonna say, Robert? Uh, SPR really says, also, every restaurant and shop in the park has different stuff based on the area, which makes you want to discover every store and restaurant apart from the rides. That's amazing. So there is, even though we've shown a lot in two and a half hours now, we have not even seen anywhere close to all of it, I'm sure. We're looking at a couple of stores, a couple of the uh, merch shops and food items, but we did not look at anywhere near all of it. So that's so freaking cool. All right, Robert, I'm waiting. Uh, I'm looking for your message whenever you send it, so... Maybe we should go back to the Universal Sign. That's a good place to, uh, I think, wrap up the stream. This has been an amazing, an amazing recreation. So my hat's off to everyone at Everbloom Games for this amazing take on Universal Studios, seeing it in Minecraft. I think possibly, I think it might actually be even more impressive than the Disney World Magic Kingdom one we uh, looked at a couple years ago. So, let's see. SPR really says if you want to get all food and merch. Yeah, there's a, so there's a lot here to keep you busy. I'm guessing something happens when we get all the letters, too. So, TRS says, please give it a purchase on the Marketplace. Yes, if you enjoyed this stream and you want to check it out for yourself, which you absolutely should, if you have Minecraft. Minecraft is free, by the way, on Game Pass. But a lot of you, most of you, I imagine, already own it. Consider picking this up. It's roughly, I believe, $8 in the Minecraft Marketplace. It is amazing. So much attention has gone into it. I mean, so much detail, love attention. I'm sure there's tons I've missed. There's more going on here that I haven't seen. 
No, Robert, it's not going through at all. I'm not even seeing it. So whatever message you're trying to send, I'm not seeing it. Just send it as a normal message, Robert. I appreciate it. You trying to get super chat. I'll read it regardless. Uh, Real Sean says very fun stuff. Great attention to detail on all of it. Yes, Mister says Woody has a uh, Woody Woodpecker has an interactive animation too. Okay, let me double check with him. How's he? He's in the fountain. How's he in the fountain? All right. So how do I actually get him to activate? How do I get? So I keep talking to him. Thanks, Woody. Really. Let me do that so how do I see his animation? I don't know how to uh, trigger it. <laughs> he is thirsty at this machine well. <laughs> hmm, I'm not quite sure how to uh, trigger his animation. Oh, it's just random? Okay, let's... Will they do it just with me staring at him? Oh, when you walk, to, uh, when you walk up to him after going away. Okay. Can we get him out of the fountain? <laughs> Super Aiden, you need to go to Universal. It's a great park. I love Universal. Especially like how much they've been adding over the years. Hey, there's Puss in Boots again. Ah, oh, yeah. And they're, of course, adding the, th the third theme park soon. He's trying to get out of the fountain. Oh! That's it! That, that had to have been it. That's just classic animation. Robert says, uh, try the regular message, but it's not going through. It was just a thank you to you, to you and the devs. Oh, thank you, Robert. And thank you, of course, uh, on behalf of yourself and to the devs for making an amazing recreation. And thanks for hanging out with us. I love that you guys stopped by again. I was secretly hoping you guys would. And you sure you guys came through once again. Yeah, you guys you guys really delivered on an amazing creation. And I'm sure the way I showcased it wasn't even optimal. So uh, my hat's off to you for making, all of you, for making an incredible uh, take on Universal Studios again. Anyone who's been there will appreciate, you know, what, you know, how, how faithful this is. And anyone who hasn't, this is like a great sneak peek or a great, like, preview of what it is to actually visit one of the parks. Because it is so incredibly faithful, especially when it comes to the ride design. And then the little mini games you guys added, fantastic. Super fun. I'm going to have to go back and get all those letters because that, you, that logo is not great right now. I'm going to have to fix it up, so... But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here, everyone. I've got, I unfortunately got things to do. Otherwise, I'd just be here all day playing this. But uh, definitely check out, again, this is on the Minecraft Marketplace for around $8. It is the Microsoft uh, uh, crossover with Universal Studios Experience DLC. So you can probably just look up Universal Studios Experience DLC. It's amazing, ton of fun, love it. Especially if you're a theme park fan, you have to check this out. Again, $8. Uh, and it's a small price to pay for what is a really fantastic experience. Uh, thanks again to everyone who's been watching and to the staff for hanging out with us. It's been awesome hearing your insights and the details that I would have missed otherwise, like the snot bubble on King Kong. Amazing stuff. So thanks again for uh, creating it, and uh, it's been a total blast checking it out. Everyone, thanks for watching. Thank you, uh, Scoopsky Cat. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, thanks again to the crew for making it. Hey, Woody Woodpecker made it out. Awesome. <laughs> Just in time for the end of the stream. Everyone, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Check it out. Again, it's the Universal Studios Experience DLC in Minecraft. Fantastic. Catch you all later. Bye, everyone.